Hello everyone, my name is Sarah. I go by G Sarah on Instagram. And in case you are new to this channel, this is a safe place to come to for mindful motivation, as well as a documentation of my first business, Eclipse Botanica. I already recorded this entire video. It didn't go well. I thought I was gonna be able to edit it and kind of piece together something, but I'm like, this is my thousand subscriber video. I can't put crap out. So I'm redoing it. What I'm going to be doing in this video is, well, what I did already was I used this table right here to um, set up kind of like a mock vendor booth just using one table. Now I'm going to be using three tables at the event, but I just wanted to set one up and kind of see how my display stuff looks and show you guys some more stuff that I either put together or, or found. Um, but having the table up in here takes all of the space away from this room. So that was stupid so what i did instead is i took some tape and i measured out 30 inches by 72 inches because that's the six foot table on the floor i'm gonna figure out a way to position the camera so that you can see the floor i'm gonna show you a little clip right here of what the table looked like with the tablecloth and with the pink thing that i have going down the middle um just the black and pink so just try to imagine that um, cause it, it I was just, that was way too hard and I'm not going to do that all again, but I have to re-record the video because I, before I get started though, um, I, ugh, I just put it away. I have, god damn, I hit a thousand subscribers and, um, I know I already said that, but I want to do another giveaway and I mentioned this box of labels. This is $160 worth of Avery labels and they're all perfect sizes for, well, they're perfect for a lot of stuff really. Um, I'm going to put links to the actual labels down below and I'll put the, the sizes and the quantities of each. It's a lot of labels and I use them for my tins, my big candles, my, my bath salts, my wax melts. I use them for everything. So yeah, I got these for free from Avery. I've told the story a million times, but I got them for free. So I just want to pass along the good fortune and I hit a thousand subscribers. So I thought that would be a good time to do that. Um, I will talk about that more at the end, how to enter and everything. Oh, and okay, so I showed this the first time I recorded this video, but I was not sure if this was going to make it on time, and it did, and I'm so glad, but I I wasn't going to get anything like this, but my fiance pointed out that it would probably look more professional if I did, so I got my logo. There we go. It's a sweater. It's a big sweater. <laughs> Oh, but let's, let's, let's just, let's put it on. It's warm though. It's really thick because it's going to be freaking cold. So this is good. And then when I turn it around, how does it look? I can't really see it. <laughs> I'll have to look in the video. Hopefully that looks good. I was a little bit worried whenever I did the back because that's a quote from Bill and Ted. So I wasn't sure if that was like trademarked or something, but they check that before they send it to you. So... Apparently it's not trademarked. I'm glad, I'm so glad that it's warm. It's warm, it's, it's really warm. Okay, I know that this is a really weird angle, but we can make it work. Um, if you can see the pink dots, I don't think you can see the one over there, but that's okay. I don't know. Okay, so I'm thinking, I think I wanna use this for my um, skull wax melts, like display. So, if you look here, I melted the skulls. They hardened very weird. I'm going to try and fix this. And then we've got our little display, what it looks like inside of the boxes. I know I'm like standing on the table right now, but let's see. Nope, that's facing the wrong way. This is a VHS rack that I found at a flea market. This would be good for soaps maybe like right there this i have no idea um keep in mind while i'm doing this that i have three six foot tables i have three of these spaces and i also got another table cover for a square like card table so <laughs> i don't know we're gonna figure it out this tray i love this tray I want to whitewash it. I don't know how to do that. 
um, I'll figure it out, but I want this to be, I think, at the front of, like, the main table, because the main table is going to have the pink thing going down. Is it cute or is it stupid? <laughs> you can be honest. You can you can let me know. I, I want honest criticism here. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I can take it. I'm a big girl. And then this acrylic stand I got from Amazon and it's tagged in my last video. I'm going to go ahead and tag my previous video up here if you would like to go look where I just kind of went through everything that I have so far. I got two of these. So this was a pain in the ass to put together just so you know this is not made very well. But since it's just acrylic I'm going to pack um, some Windex in my little emergency box thing. But I have two of those so I think I'm either going to put one on each table or maybe one on each side. Sure. I don't know. I was worried that I had too much stuff for display, but now I'm kind of worried I don't have enough. I don't know. I think that one of the six foot tables I'm gonna have at the back, not at the very, very back, but kind of in the middle of my canopy. And I'm gonna use it to do the transactions and have, you know, the bags and, and um, wrap everything up, and keep the money and all that fun stuff. I'm not doing this exactly the same as I did last time because I couldn't really reach anything and it was just... What else? Oh, my signs! Oh! Okay, so I made some signs um, on Canva and I have them in these little acrylic things. Free smells. Which I think that one's cute. That one would probably go near the front. And then my QR code follow your destiny and our socials. This QR code though, I'm gonna make a video about this soon. This QR code company is a scam. <laughs> they scammed me out of $80 and I, um, it's, it's customqrcodes.com, I think. I'm gonna make a video about it and what the alternative free one that is even better <laughs> that I, I'm using now. This is just, this is my old one. I, I just, I'm just now realizing, I don't know why I printed this out because it's going to um, turn off. I won't be able to use it anymore. Someone in my last video though gave me a really good idea with this. And this is a beer holder. It's from Tommy Bahama. I found it at the flea market for nine bucks and it's super cute. And I was gonna fill these with my pink crinkle cut paper but it falls out of the bottom, so I can't do that. I'm gonna figure out a way though to get like maybe two candles, two bath salts, a soap, wax melts or something, and I'm gonna have this sitting by this, which is um, a sign-up sheet that I can get people's emails and do marketing and all that. Um, it just says free products, discounts, new arrivals, birthday goodies, you can unsubscribe at any time. And I think I'm going to put this near this. I'm going to have this filled with all the stuff. And then I'm going to have one of my little chalkboard signs point down to it and say enter raffle or giveaway or whatever to get to get this. So this will be on a table. This isn't all going to be on the same table. That's the only thing that like this isn't entirely <sighs> helpful, I guess. And then I also have like 30 of these which I think I'm gonna just put these on my whitewash wooden ladder shelves or stack them all up into like a pyramid. I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> I have no idea. So yeah, there's that. I also have a bunch of skulls that I made just to set around for de like, I need to clean that down there, but just to set around um, so that people can pick them up and smell them and all that good stuff.
these are all going to be the, um, the testers. And I don't know if I should leave the lids on or take them off. Cause I feel like if I take them off, it'll lose some of the delicious aroma. Maybe not though. I mean, people sell candles without lids all the time. This wicker basket, which this is entirely too big for anything. I can fill it up with crinkle cut paper and just put some stuff on it. Oh, that would be cute with the soaps, I think. And then I also have this. I know I want to use this to display the soaps because bamboo, I don't know why bamboo and bath stuff just goes together to me. And then I have like three bowls. I have a lot. I also have this. And then this one, I tried to get all white stuff. I just couldn't. <laughs> Here's my other egg crates. And then I have this ladder shelf thing that I think I'm going to put up against the main table. can't even see the top of that one. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> so you saw all the other bowls. You know I've got 30 of the wax melters. I have a ton of skull melts. I think these will be the testers. I don't know. What are we thinking? I keep asking that like, like y'all are actually going to say something. I mean, I think it's cute. And I'll be able to kind of have this whole thing and a bunch of these, more of these stacked up. Or do you think I should keep all of the skull melts in one area and then all of the candles in one area and then all the soaps and the bath salts in one area? So this will all be sitting on top of the black tablecloth with the pink down the center. And then the other table is just gonna be black. Let me know what y'all think because I also thought with the egg crates, I could, I could put them on the floor and I could like stack them up all, you know, all on top of each other. I'm thinking with my hands. I don't know if anyone else does that. I think I've decided that I'm not going to pinwheel wrap them. I, I think, I don't know. See, cause also like I'm looking in the camera over there. This almost looks too busy at the same time. This, this looks like a lot going on. Like would this maybe look better if Maybe only these were out, and then I pinwheel wrapped them all in craft paper back here and just kind of set them there. That way people would also be able to see that that's what they look like when they're, when you buy them. And then I'm gonna have a little bit more of decor. I'm gonna just bring some, oh, I meant to get fake plants. I forgot. Well, anyway, I'm gonna switch the camera around so we can talk more about the giveaway. Okay, so this is it from like a normal, angle the little pink things back there so that's the corner of the table that's the corner of the table this will look better i know it doesn't look like much right now it, it'll look better okay so i know that wasn't it's not it totally set up and it's gonna look a lot different um, on the actual tables but I hope that kind of gives you an idea of what I'm gonna do and if you well let's talk about the giveaway um like I said before I'm gonna link all of this down below so that you can see exactly what labels and how many and all of that good stuff but because I finally reached a thousand subscribers which by the way thank you guys so much it's because of y'all that I was able to monetize my channel. So thank you guys so, so, so much. And um, I got these labels for free from Avery. Um, I've talked about it in a few videos, but I just want to pass along the good fortune. So I'm going to be giving these away and I'm going to be doing this giveaway a lot different than the first one or the first two giveaways that I did because it, I, <laughs> it took like three months for me to 
find um, a winner and for them to contact me back and it I had to keep rotating the winner every three days and it was just really stupid because I did it to where I put their name up in the description of my next video which I thought that was a good idea going into it it's not it's not a good idea at all so what I'm gonna do differently in this video is I would like for you to comment down below and make sure that you leave a way for me to contact you it can be an email address or an Instagram handle or a cell phone number for a burner phone or it doesn't matter it just any way that I can contact you directly and then I'll do the whole wait three days and then pick a new winner if they don't get back to me but that way I'm actually able to contact whoever you know wins whenever I do the random drawing so if you would like to enter the giveaway for the labels if you could comment down below any suggestions or tips or advice on everything that you just saw me lay out if you think I should do something different with any display items, if you think that I'm missing something very important that I should bring to a vendor event, please tell me. <laughs> tell me what your opinion is on all of this that you just saw. And I will pick a winner at random and I will announce it in my next video, which I don't think I'm gonna be recording a video until, until Canton, because today is Saturday and we go to set up on Wednesday and then we sell the next three or four days. So. Um, that's going to be a lot of film and it's going to take me a while to edit it. So I think after I'm done with Canton, I will probably film, actually I might be able to film it in the next few days, but I won't be able to edit it until afterwards. I'm going to film another video and then post it after Canton. But yeah, just let me know in the comments what you think, if you think everything was great. Although I hope that you don't say that because I actually do want to get better. I think that I'm, I'm ready. I think I'm good. I'm nervous. I'm <laughs> I'm nervous, but I'm pretty sure by the time I get there and I have everything set up and someone actually comes to my table, I'll be fine because I'm just going to be glad. Like, I don't know. I think it'll be fun. I got my card reader synced with my phone and I did a, tr a test transaction. Oh, I need to get cash so that I have change to give people. I have to go do that tomorrow. I don't know how much I should bring. I'm, I'm going to bring mostly ones because I have like you know stuff that's $19 $29 I need I need ones so I'm in the midst of getting everything packed up like I started with a box of just tablecloths extension cords the lights the hooks for the canopy and then we're gonna bring that box and then my all three of my tables and the canopy on Wednesday and my banners and we're gonna put all of that up and then on Thursday I'm going to go out there and set up all of my displays. It says that some people do sell on Thursday. If I can, I of course am going to, but if not, I will be selling on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So if you are interested in any of the stuff that I have, that I showed in this video, I have it all tagged in my last one. If you want to go look at that um, I'll probably just copy and paste all the links <laughs> below in this one too because like why not so yeah anyways good luck in the um the label giveaway and thank you guys so much for watching my channel and being so supportive and being amazing because now I have this other source of income which is awesome I would highly suggest to anyone that is comfortable talking in front of a camera to start a YouTube channel <laughs> because I mean why not? It's fun and, and you eventually will probably get to make some money out of it. So I'm really, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't believe that I was ever going to get to a thousand subscribers. I, I kept telling my fiance like, nah, I'll probably get like 300 tops and then it's going to stop. But it hasn't. <laughs> and that's because y'all are amazing. So thank you guys. And anyways, Thank y'all for watching the video. I said that like a million times, but seriously, thank you guys. And as always, be excellent to each other. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.